Welcome to Cooking with Glenn and Katie. Today we'll be making an Italian ricotta cookie. This cookie is traditionally made during the holidays and so we just decided since Easter is coming up, it's a perfect time to go ahead and make it. Now, we got this recipe from my husband, Ray, and we are so excited to share it with you today. So, are you ready to get started? I'm ready. All right. Let's See, go. Yeah. To begin with, I need to cream the butter with the sugar. And this is how I do it. I've got two sticks of butter. And it's very important to cut these in small cubes. I'll be using a mixer. I've got this big bowl and I've got one and three quarters cup of sugar. I'll put in here and then I'll put the butter in. And I'm gonna put some of it in here like this, probably about one stick, about half of it I'll put in here. And I'll take a spoon and I'll coat this with sugar. Now I'm gonna put some more in it. The reason you do this is so it doesn't get stuck on the blades. And while the butter and sugar are creaming together, I'm going to zest the lemon. So I'm just going to put it through here. And I just want to get the top part. I'm going to try not to get the white part. I've got two large eggs here. I got them out of the chicken house this morning. And I'm going to crack these in this bowl. And then I'm going to put in one container of whole milk ricotta cheese. It ought to just all plop in here, and it did. <laughs> there it is. One teaspoon of lemon zest. And finally, two tablespoons of vanilla. And you can use almond extract if you want to. I have four cups of plain flour. And to the four cups, I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm going to use a whisk and whisk it all together. So I'll do this for about 30 seconds to blend it really well. Okay, it's done. It's all blended very well together. And then I'll put it in a bowl and put it in the refrigerator for at least two hours because it needs to be very cold. This is a sticky dough. Maybe the stickiest dough you ever use. So it has to be cold so that it can come back and be dropped as cookies. Okay, I've got the cookie dough out of the refrigerator and it's cold. You don't want a whole lot of cookie dough. It doesn't have to be patted into a circle or anything. And you want it about that size there. So again, I'm putting it into a teaspoon, getting about this much right here. And then I'm using this other spoon to push it off. So we're kind of working together. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. This is a preheated oven at 350 degrees. Look at these cookies. They're perfect. Let me scoop one off of here. Look at the bottom. Perfectly golden brown, not burnt. I'm gonna go ahead and start making the icing. I'm gonna start with the lemon that we zested. I am going to get a tablespoon of lemon juice from this. Waste not, what not, they say. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it in half. Take my bowl and just see how much juice I can get out. It might only just take this one half. 
Let's see, now I know I have a little seed that fell out. Let's scoop that. That's pretty much perfect, isn't it? Yes, so I've got my tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it back in the bowl then now that I know it's enough. We can always use this other half for something else later, like some water in my lemon. <laughs> lemon in my water. The next step is to whisk all the other ingredients together. So I have two cups of powdered sugar and then I have one teaspoon of vanilla, one tablespoon of butter that I melted, and then four tablespoons of either whole milk or half and half. Let's just add the lemon juice. Go ahead and add in the vanilla extract and then the butter. Now my brain struggles with doing two things at one time, so I've got those moving a little bit, but let me go ahead and add in this milk. And if it's ever too thick, you can always add a little drop of milk at a time until it gets to the consistency that it needs to be. But as you see here, it's already starting to blend and get smooth. So it's just gonna take me a little bit of time to get this all mixed, and I'll come right back to you guys. Now that I have whisked the icing together, I'm going to put it into three bowls. I'm actually taking a liquid food coloring and I'm gonna start by just adding in one drop but I can always add in more if need be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start working this in. I chose green to begin with. All of the icings have been dyed, and look at these beautiful colors. We have pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So what I'm gonna do is start icing the cookies. I'm going to just take one, and I'm gonna go ahead and just drizzle a little bit of icing on top. Ooh. I'm just gonna use the back of the spoon to spread it around. Let's see how this beauty looks. Look at that, and look at how the icing just smooths over the cookie, and then it'll actually solidify slightly more and be like a lovely glaze. Mm. We did hold out a little bit of white icing, and so I iced this cookie here and I put sprinkles on it. But if you put sprinkles on it, you have to ice it and immediately put the sprinkles on it so they'll stick on. Otherwise, the icing will solidify and the sprinkles won't hold on. We are ready to taste test these things, are we? Yeah, we are. They look so good. Yes, we have Can't a wait. platter right down below, and so we're each gonna grab one and try them. I'm are you ready. ready to go for yeah, it? I'm ready. Okay. Mmm. That's delicious, y'all. Mmm. Where's slush? Mmm. That's really good. It's like cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got a lot of just flavors and things in there that you won't find in like a regular straight old cookie, so I'm a fan. It's a good balance of icing and cookie or cake. I really feel like it's mine. Like this looks really good. Mm. It really is good. It's really nice and sweet, but not too sweet. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Hey. Oh. 
That's really good. It tastes like Easter. How does the icing taste? What do you think? Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed watching, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and comment below. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please be sure to do so and don't forget to click the notification button so you're updated on all of our new videos. And, and please share with folks. That's the way we get the word out. You help us, so please do that. Yep, and we will see you guys next week. See, see ya. ya.